pregnancy and homeschooling. How in the world have I managed? The truth is that this is not my first time being pregnant since we started homeschooling. And I still couldn't write even a quick guide for you as to how to manage it all. Homeschool, housework, self-care, being a good wife, being a good mother, all of it. Why? Because personally, in each instance, we were in a different season of life and each season required me to just move differently. Today, I'm going to share with you how things have been this time around with my being pregnant and homeschooling, what's been working well for this season of life and what I've been trying to keep at the forefront. Seeing how tired I was in the first trimester, one of my biggest concerns was how in the world was I going to manage housework and making sure we weren't eating out five nights a week. So two things, rethinking daily life and letting go. Some days the kitchen and living room are the only two places truly clean, but guess what? Eventually everything else gets clean too. This is something I have to remind myself of from time to time and sometimes that reminder even comes from my husband. Meals. As much as I love to play Betty Crocker in the kitchen, even during the week, making different new recipes and all that, keeping things simple has been a way to go, including as far as our schedule and daily chores and tasks and all of that's concerned. I mean, with three kids and one on the way, some things can just naturally seem chaotic. So why not take the chaos out of the things that we have the ability to and keep it moving? Just a little side note, y'all. What you're seeing here is a look at a day where I somehow woke up with enough energy to consider myself fully charged and ready to conquer the day. These types of days have seemed very far from me. I may just have to go back and watch this video myself just to be like, hey, I remember that one day when I kind of killed it at homeschool momhood when I was pregnant with the forks. So on the homeschool front specifically, I've had us on a new schedule where I have us doing scheduled breaks now. So. We're doing that Sabbath schedule thing with uh, six weeks on and one week off. I'm not sure if this is something we will be doing for the long haul, but it sure has been working well for us at the moment, especially during that first trimester fatigue I had. But with this schedule, if I can just push myself to go those six weeks, I can look forward to taking that seventh week off to recoup and go back at it. There have been other benefits to us being on this schedule too, but I'd like to do a separate video on that. So if you're not subscribed, hit the red button and stay tuned for that. Now I mentioned keeping things simple, just to give you a look at how simple I'm talking here. Um, this is a look at our agenda for the day for homeschool. Um, so as you can see, we're just hitting like main subjects and morning basket. And that is pretty much going to be it. It's true. Good job. Okay. Next one. Curious George is my favorite book. Do you guys think that's feeling or truth? Feeling. What do you think, Judah? It's truth. It's feeling. Okay. Waffles are the best breakfast food. Is that feeling or is that truth? It's truth. Feeling. What do you think, Micah? Feeling. It's feeling. Do you know why? Because what if somebody else thinks that pancakes are the best breakfast? That one is feeling. Waffles are yucky. Is that feeling or truth? Feeling. What do you think, Judah? Feeling. Good job, boys. What? Okay, so for real out today, I'm just going to do the Gruffalo and then we are going to try to finish up the Secret Lake. Um, these last three chapters have been drug out long enough, so maybe we can get that finished today. Um, and that will be it for the rest of our morning basket before we move on. A Gruffalo? What's a Gruffalo? A Gruffalo, why didn't you know? He has terrible tusks and terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws. Where are you meeting him? Here, by these rocks. And his favorite food is roasted fox. Roasted fox? Oh my, Fox said. Goodbye, little mouse, and away he sped. So as you guys know, we use a Becca for math right now. And the only resources that I purchased from them were um, my son's textbook and my teacher's manual, um, the answer key. We didn't buy like any manipulatives kits or anything like that. So to assist with um, explaining concepts and things like that, I tried to get like um, other outside resources. So today we're going to start learning about like gallons and pints and cups and all of that. Um, for measurements. So I printed out this fun little resource um, called Gallon Man. I got it from Teachers Pay Teachers. If you haven't seen this yet, um, I'll link it below so you can check it out. But it's going to end up looking like this. And 
I think this is a good resource to have to help um, give a visual for like how many pints are in a gallon in a quart, how many cups are in those uh, measurements as well. And so we are going to work on that today for math. And um, right now he's finishing up some independent work. I went ahead and gave him his independent work while I sit here and um, take a breather for a moment after doing our read aloud. And like I mentioned, I am trying to keep meals simple, which includes lunch. So today is just peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with some chia seeds mixed in the jelly for a little extra protein and fruit. And now for our little math project, we're putting together a gallon man. So while Micah is working on um, cutting out his little pictures and things like that, I'm going to be working to help Judah to cut his out and get his glue together. Yes, he doesn't, um, he's not doing this level of math yet, but he finds enjoyment in just being able to be in the mix and put his little stuff together sometimes too. So I'm letting him um, do that with us today. And now for language arts. Working our way through our little agenda for the day and then we will wrap it up. It's never my intention to treat our time in the school books. It's just a list to be checked. During this time though, it has been like a guide to the finish line before my engine runs out for the day. It's just my way of making sure that I'm not overextending myself, but I'm also continuing to give my kids what they need. Honestly, um, as far as managing everything, I just find a way to give my best every day. Even if that means snuggling up with the kids, reading chapters from a book and having to call it a day, as far as school goes. There may not be a secret formula to this, but we have grace to do what we need to do. And honestly, that's more than enough. <laughs> 